Hello, my name is James Lincoln. I'm a science teacher, and I'm going to show you how to do some science demonstrations that are appropriate for middle school. One of my favorite demonstrations is acetone nail polish remover dissolves styrofoam. You have to get 100% pure acetone, which can be found at the drugstore, and just put it into some styrofoam and watch what happens. Wait for it. Now, is that a chemical or a physical reaction? How many drops of water can fit on top of this penny? Let's find out. You'll notice that the water sticks to itself. It forms a bubble because of the coherence of water. You may be surprised how much water you can actually get on the penny before the bubble ruptures. Here's a demonstration for life science. I have here two petri dishes in which I've put radish seeds and the radish seeds have also been given water. I seal them up and I'm gonna put them in the cabinet for two days. Except this one, I'm gonna keep in the dark. When you come back two days later, you're gonna find that one of them has grown more than the other. And you might think it's this one that's exposed to the light, but it's not. The one that's in the dark grows more because the seeds think that they're underground and so they will grow further to get out of the ground, or so they think. An excellent thing to demonstrate in middle school science is waves with a slinky. You take a slinky from the grocery store where you buy it in the toy aisle and stretch it across the top of a table and you can make waves with it. I just made some transverse waves. You can change the frequency and you can also demonstrate longitudinal waves. Have fun with your middle school science demonstrations, and I'll see you next time.